Well, welcome, welcome. We're back. It's Thursday night. This is so much fun and so different. We we were uh, trying this out. We heard you. We we have our ear to the ground, constantly asking for your input. And one of the biggest things that we get back from you is that we wish that there were some things at nighttime so that those of us who are working outside the home, I don't want to say not working because if you're at home, girl, you are working. working. <laughs> so if you're working outside the home or if you're working at home, but you're working virtually, you're not able to tune in with us live on the other times, we just want to give you an option. And so the third, thir third week of every month, we will not be live on Friday mornings. We're going to be live Thursday nights instead. So that's what we're doing. We're live over on Facebook streaming. There's so many ways that you can watch us live. If you want to watch the replays, would you let us know? Thank you. I'm a working mom outside the home. This was really helpful, or I'm not able to watch during the day on Friday. So we are excited. I we need your feedback because we want to make sure um, that we hear you and we're doing all the things that help you out. There are so many ways also that you can listen to this. You're able to listen on podcast. If you need that podcast link, let us know. You can just, because some of you are better, you just want to listen while you're doing stuff, walk in or something. Um, you can walk, we do have a, uh, the free, the portion membership, you go in there and it's like a library and you can go back and watch all the old ones, watch the videos, watch everything that's free. We can get that link to you. Just let us know on Facebook or down here. I don't know, just ask us. Well, we'll know if you go to the rooted cafe, K A F E.com. And when you go up into like, I think it's events, stores, resources, click in there, you'll see the portion free podcast. You click on that and you just get to do it all. It's all tells you how to do all the things. So um, that gives you that option. I think that's it, Brenda. Hey, happy Thursday. <laughs> happy Thursday. Um, it's so funny because today, since we we're going to do the portion, that was like, it was, felt like Friday all day. <laughs> I, know, right? I was running around getting the garbage out and everything. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, I have some stuff tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got to pin you. I'm trying to pin you on here. Where are pin you? Me. I lost you. Where, I'm in the, I lost I'm, you. I don't know where I am. There you are. I'm you were like in somewhere. The, there you go. There's an added pin. The, there we are. In the Netherland. Netherland. <laughs> Super good. Okay. So you know what? This is really cool. Remember tomorrow, there's no portion. I'll say that one more time. So um, guess what we're going to be doing in a couple weeks. It's like three weeks from now, what? right? In three what? weeks, there are a lot of you, and I think there might still be room. I do not know because it's not our event. The Women of Valor are putting on their conference. It's going to be yes. in Kentucky at the Banner Lake Resort. I think Barner, Burner, Barner, something Lake Resort. Um, and we are super excited to meet. We're going to be with all of our all of our good, our friends are going to be there. So we can't wait to touch all of you and hug you. There's those of you who are there coming super exciting. So here's some things you might want to know is on um, uh, first of all, super cool. Brenda will be one of your speakers there. Yay! Yay! Brenda will be speaking at the conference. I want you guys Friday, come over to the Ruta Cafe table. I have some goodies for you. So I want you to come so I can love on you, squeeze yes. you, hug you, take pictures with you or take pictures of you. You may not want my picture, but anyway. <laughs> so note to self, more reasons to not have sugar and bread so that I maybe lose five pounds before this. Anyway, so... <laughs> We're going to um, have a table there so that we can have a place for all of us to meet. Hopefully, if you get there and you can save seats, I feel like there's like 20 of us, something like that. There's going to be right around that. Um, Saturdays, we're all wearing our Rooted Cafe t-shirts. I don't think it's too late for you to still get it and get it in time. It's three weeks away, so you'll still be able to get it. Our, we're going to all be wearing our shirts so we can represent. Whoop, whoop. Um, fun, though. Yay, Brenda, how fun I that you're teaching. Know. Thank you. Oh I gosh. am excited. So exciting. I, and it is I so, am. you know what I'm ex I'm excited that about all the new members. We got a lot of new members that came in um as in, in our cafe membership from the conference. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. tell you if you're new here, would you be like, hey, I'm one of the newbies? I Please. just can't wait to get to know you. I can't wait to spend some time with you, get to know you. I hope you are not overwhelmed. I'm working on some ways to like lessen that a little bit. We have guides helping you as well. Sydney and I are like diligent to, to help work that out, but so much fun. I want to video chat with you. I want to see you. I want to get to know you. This'll be fun. Good, good, good. Brenda, we yes. have a new book. <gasps> it's my favorite book, <laughs> <laughs> but this time I mean it. I know you've heard is me it? say that. You've heard me say it, it before, but this is, is really your favorite. No, really. Right today, right this minute. Yes, it is for sure. Oh, okay. No, it really is. <laughs> no, it really is. You oh know why? Gosh. I think Kimberly's because it because it kind of covers it. It just it like covers everything. 
So. Yeah, that's good. I like and, that too. And I, and, and two, I mean, if you have time for me to share right now, I'll just tell you that we have all the time. Oh, we hey, have, that's we have all the time. Here. That's right. It's Thursday night and we don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> we don't have to <laughs> yeah, rush off. We're right here. <laughs> we're right here. Oh. So you all know that my mom passed away recently and I was able to spend um, time with her before she passed. And it was just um, a blessed, blessed, anointed time that I was able to be with her. And it was really funny because today when I was rereading um, the portion, the book of Deuteronomy chapter one through three, if you guys um, don't know, it's, it's, um, what is it? Three, one through oh, I wrote it somewhere. Uh, Deuteronomy three one, one through three, 22 and three Isaiah 22. one through one twenty seven. Yeah, and Isaiah. And so we, so I was reading through that again today. And what hit me was that when my mom was getting ready to go in the, her last couple of weeks of life, she was like losing energy, but then all of a sudden she would like rally. And then she would just start, like, she would constantly be grabbing me and saying, precious, precious, let me tell you something. And then she would talk to me and she would tell me these things. Well, I was reminded of that today when I was reading this, because this book of Deuteronomy was written the last five weeks of Moshe's life, five weeks he had left, and he knew he only had a very short period of time left. And that was it. And so Devarim, ah, get the, get the tissues out. Devarim are those words. They're not just words. They're hmm. impartation of life that he is speaking forth and, and bringing it out into us and causing us to receive yes. these yes. magnificent downloads that he has got. Yes. He has spent the last 40 years face to face with El Shaddai, face to face with the Holy One, face to face. He was on the mountain for 80 days, 80 days with nothing but the Holy One to sustain him. And this is, this is someone we need to listen to. And yeah, yeah. here he is giving us these words and imparting, not just to us, but of course, to the people there, but to us too. He is imparting this wisdom from heaven. Now, when this was happening with my mom, she was having, she was visiting heaven and coming back. And then she would explain to us, well, I, I was just, you know, doing da, 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 and this happened and this happened. And she said, what do you think about that? That's so crazy. Cause she didn't know. And we're like, oh my gosh, she's in the heavenlies. She, she's in the heavenlies. This is where, this is what's happening there. And she didn't know. But anyway, Moses was in the heavenlies. He was seeing things from a different perspective. He was hearing the words of the almighty, yes. the creator of heaven and earth, not like a prophet, like we know now where a prophet has a download from the Holy one. And then it, 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 it rolls around within him. And then their words bring it forth. No, the first four books of the Bible, it says, and God said, so Moses is scribing it, but God's saying it. But in the book of Devarim, it's Moses saying it because he's telling you he's now he's seeing it from this perspective. Yeah. And he's telling us this. And it was like what my mom did. She would tell us these words and she would say these meaningful things that she had to get out because she knew that her time was limited. That's what Moses was doing here. So when we read the book of Devarim, the book of Deuteronomy, if we will just look at it from the perspective of, 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 of Moshe now not being the prophet, but now he's being our father. He's being our, yeah. our rabbi. He's being our teacher. He's saying, please listen to me. And if you notice his tones different in the book of Deuteronomy, Brenda, don't right? you feel like he, he, it's almost like he has your face and he's going, look, listen. Yeah. Listen. He's doing this. Come, here, he's doing come this. close. Come here, come here honey. Come Let here. Me, come close. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I want to hold you. I want to show you. Let me, let me just, just no, no, let's sh 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 listen. <laughs> that's what he's saying to us. Hey, 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 listen. <laughs> and that's what's happening. And so when yeah. we're hearing these words, when you hear these words, when you hear these hyperlinks, I mean, Charlie, right? The whole first chapter of this book is nothing but hyperlinks. It's like, I, I was, was that there last year? Because I'm not quite sure that I caught that right, last right. year. <laughs> right. 
but anyway, yeah. I just wanted to explain to you from my perspective, Charlie, how that I love that this week, you know, like my mom's doing that to my face oh. and going, come here, precious, come here, precious. Yes. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Yes. I love you. Let me tell you, let me tell you, mm. this is important. I love you. And here we're reading this and that's exactly what Moses is saying. You know, <laughs> it's just, woo. Oh. And, he's, and he's telling us, he's telling us some of the things, you know, that we didn't do so great because we're going to be going into the land and the cloud covering is not going to be with us and the fire at night is not going to be with us and we're not going to be protected from the enemy seeing us we will be uncovered we will be living with the enemy we will be living in a pagan land we will be in the midst we'll be working with people who don't believe the way we do we're going to be working alongside you know, heathen people, we're going to yes. be experiencing cultures that we've not experienced before. Remember, these a lot of these people just grew up in the desert. A lot of yes. them have known nothing mm -hmm. but the desert. And, and yeah, they were, you know, they were there. That's it. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to go into this whole thing that's going to be completely different. And Moses is trying to get their attention and say, listen yeah. to me, these are the things that have happened before. This is the stuff that's gone on. Mm -hmm. This is how you reacted, mm -hmm. responded. And when he says you, it wasn't them, maybe necessarily. It was us for sure, but people in general. And then he's saying, so don't, don't do it that way because no. the Holy One is with you. That's what he's telling yeah. us. So if we can look at this book from that perspective, I just think that we'll really enjoy it. <laughs> We're going to really enjoy this book because it's like he's saying it. And for those of you who are like, well, I didn't get all the other stuff before. And Leviticus is really difficult for me. Then, then you're in luck because yeah. we're going into yeah. Deuteronomy. He's like, let me just summarize this for you. This is like, we have like Moshe yeah. who's coming in this and he's going, let me just, this is a farewell address, right? To the people. Right. And he's saying like, let's do a refresher course now for the newbies. Uh, we're going to go through a refresher course. This is how we're going to, as we're going to, you're going to enter into the land. So I want to make sure that you have all the tools like Brenda said, and you'll hear, if you read it, he's saying, don't be afraid. Adonai is saying, don't be afraid. That's right. Don't be afraid. Don't and you fear. know what, Brenda, when I was mm. listening to this, I was saying, I really feel like that's happening now for two yeah. things. One agreed when you said, that here's some new people. There is a lot of times when you're first starting out on this journey, when you start in the way, we'll just call it that. Yeah. Let's when you that. start in the way you, <laughs> you, you're new. And sometimes he's so precious that you kind of get isolated a little bit. Right. And where you're isolated, you get to learn you're in like that little love bubble. And then all of a sudden you're around real people and you're, you want to overshare and you want to tell them really cool. And, and you get attacked and they think you're crazy and you're in a cult. I mean, yeah. you're, you're wanting to go in and he's saying, I want you to take it piece by piece. He's given, and I'm just really feeling like I, you know, if you're new, you're not alone. It happened to all of us, all of us, I, almost all, I don't know if it didn't happen to you. Yay. You, but for me, and Check I know your most pulse. of the people I know, yeah, right? pulse, I see Marcia, she's you. like me for sure. <laughs> One of the reasons I know when I told Brenda, Brenda, I want to start this platform. I want to start a place where women can come in and they actually can dare to say, I'm scared. Everyone's attacking me. Is this normal? And not feel like you're alone. Like you have other people you can come back, run back to, you can come right. back to the camp and say, okay, yeah. Okay. I told my friends this and they all thought I'm crazy. What should I do better next time? You're not alone. Can I just, I hope you feel that way. You're not yeah. alone. We're all I'm here with you. Yeah. you. It's not a, it's not stupid questions. You can ask the crazy things and we want to be here for you. And this is a really great book for you to jump in. If you're new with us, because we get to go through like the overview of all of it. What I love about the book of Devarim, let's just take the book. Hello, Devarim. It's, uh, means words in English. Okay. Or let's, let's do some Hebrew. It's the letters Dalit, Vav, Resh, Resh, and Mem Sofit. Now, some of you are taking Brenda's, uh, energy of the letters, her Aleph Bet course in the Ruta Cafe. I'm just going to tell you, it's been life-changing for me because I don't look at anything the same anymore. I see it. I saw, I've called her when I, we got on, I was like, oh, okay, I have the picture. I think is, does it mean this? So I'll tell you what I wrote down. I wrote down the door that connects the man to the waters of revelation. That's so, so that's beautiful. what I started with. Yeah. And then that's Brenda, so you took beautiful. it to level 49. 
Go ahead. No, I, I was just saying that when in Hebrew, when you have a Hebrew word, you know that all, and you guys hear me all the time, <laughs> all the letters are relating to each other, right? So the story, each letter is adding to a story. But when you have a word, the first letter and the last letter, they have the letters that are in between them. They're surrounding that. And so if you're looking at the Dalit, it's surrounding the Vav and the Resh. The Dalit and the Memsofit are surrounding it. So the Dalit is the doorway, that place that of hope, that place of looking into the next realm, moving yourself into, remember movement, always movement with the Hebrew letters. The Mem is that thing that picks you up. Like think about the ark. The Mem is the water that picked up the ark and moved it exactly where it needed to go, moved it in the midst of chaos. It was cradling it, mm. right? Because it's the mem sofit is is messiah yeshua and that's what the sofit letters are taking you to the ultimate of that letter and that's yes. messiah and so you've got the doorway and you've got the mem and it's it's picking you up and it's taking you into this adventure and connecting you the vav is connecting you and the resh is your is your head your intellect your influence who you're who you are um, influencing in your life what you're thinking, how you're, that is all going on right here. And the book of Devarim is, is enclosing you <sighs> with the Messiah and saying, let's go to the next step. Let's move into this next realm. I'm, you're connected to me. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Now let's watch and see how we influence people as we go. <laughs> Isn't that I mean, amazing? Really? Come on. I mean, and if you look at that and you're like, okay, the door the connector, yeah. the water revelation, the ultimate revelation. I mean, it's a huge yeah. picture of who Messiah is, HaTorah. And guess oh, what? I love that. Charlie. They actually call it HaTorah. It's right. called Mishnah HaTorah. It's the repetition of Torah is what it's yes. called. Is an ancient name for this book. Mishnah HaTorah. Who did yeah. they call Yeshua? HaTorah. He yeah. was the word become flesh. He was HaTorah become flesh. That's, this is him. He's saying, look, him. and I'm going to show yeah. you, I'm the way I'm the truth. I'm the life. No yes. one comes to us. You have to come through me. You have to come through hot Torah. You have to come That's through right. this. You have, yeah. I mean, that was my hashtags. That was Woo! all my little hyperlinks that were going That's in there. A and then beautiful hyperlink. Oh, I love that. I love it. We could just stop right there. And like, I feel like that just sit, we could just sit in that right there, Charlie. I'm, mm. I'm telling you that is so, so beautiful. Yeshua is the word made alive. Yes. John 1 1, right? Yes. In the beginning was the word, the oh, Devarim. The Torah. The Torah. Which is yes. Devarim. It, the Debar is uh, one of the uh, words of Devarim. It's a cousin word to, to Debar, Devarim. So here you go. He, that's who he is. He I love is. It. A, oh, wow. And so we think that we can't find Messiah in the Torah. That's because we've been blind. <laughs> and you know right what? There. I'm just saying, I'm hyperlinking all over the place because because he says it's like honey on my lips. Oh, yes. Debar is the picture of a honeybee. Debar is that picture of the honeybee that's like you, you were saying that to me. You're like, you know, yeah. this is Debar. You were, it's yeah, something this, personal this for me, but you. you were like, <laughs> you were like, what a, it's not a bee. Oh, oh it's a honeybee. No, mm -mm. it's what a bee does. It yeah. vibrates with its vocal cords, with its words. Yeah. It vibrates yeah. the atmosphere and draws the goodness out and produces food to feed people. That's what we're going to see through this. This is a book yeah. that might shake yeah. you up a little bit, mm -hmm. but the reason is because it's trying to get you in alignment. So right. then it brings nourishment to your body. It's right. nourishment for your soul. Amen. You're going to hear David saying that. I mean, right. How yep. many times? Oh, this right. was like, oh, it's honey on my lips. Oh, it's food. To my, I mean, right. It's bitter Can in my, it's bitter in my stomach. You should be having stomach. hashtags yeah. going mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. link, link, awesome, hyperlink, awesome. hyperlink, hyperlink. Ezekiel, devour my word. Yes. yes. Eat my scroll. <laughs> Yes. Come on. Why? Because it's going to be honey to your lips and it's going to be bitter in your heart. Why is it going to be bitter? Because it's going to change you. Mm -hmm. It's going to shake you up. And that's what, Charlie, that's what you were saying about the, you were saying the nutri the nu nutrition, like to feed people. Well, well, what are we, what are we doing? What are we producing? How are we influencing? Remember the Resh? Right. How are we influencing those around us? How's that man, happening? Man does not live by bread alone, 
but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Ah! And Devarim. scene. <laughs> Devarim, <laughs> mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> and scene. Yes. And cut scene. Cut. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, you know, what else can we say? I mean, I mean really. <laughs> And that's the book, everybody. That's the and book, y'all. That's, and that's the book. And that and that is the way it is. Yes. Millie, you said that we want to repeat all that in writing. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Well, the good news <laughs> is if you look in your if you look in your library under this week's, we actually um, transcribe all of these. So they're downloadable and there are transcribed. So those are in your cafe library, the transcriptions. I cannot guarantee the editing because you know we say crazy words and the transcription is not edited. So yeah read at your own it might say it might say pizza <laughs> and we said <laughs> something else <laughs> something else <laughs> maybe we, maybe we're glad it said pizza i don't know and anyways it, and if it says something else charlie probably said it Just right to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my gosh>. nurse <laughs> yes. charlie probably did say that <laughs> oh my god i love it hey you know we have the the half tara on this is an isaiah and i just have to do a oh. quick little plug Oh my starting, gosh. In, starting when we start Genesis over again in October, yeah. you know, we have the blessings of every mm. single week. Uh, our Gail Heaton uh, writes out the partial points for us and she gives us the ancient Near East perspective. I know, right? I'm like, her genius amazing. blows my brain. So she, she is now, because she's done this for the whole year, she's done the ancient Near East perspective on each one. So it was like, so what are you going to do? And she's like, she is actually going to do the half, half talk. Haftara, Haftora, Haftora. Mm -hmm. She's actually going to be doing that now as her partial points. So she'll be diving into that. It's going to be super fun. It's kind of new for wow. her. So she's really excited to share as she's learning. I love and that. um, which it's going to be, she's already started studying. She's already let I'm I can't even I can't even I adore wait. her. I mean, Me I just mean we love you, Gail. We love you, Gail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good everyone's shout out and she so loves smart. hearing from you so tell her she, mm -hmm. what you love please yeah. leave your comments in there when you read her partial points please give her feedback because that really yeah. that really is inspiring you know um not to feed her pride she's not that no, person no. Mm -mm. but she just knows that you're reading it and and you're there even if it's a, a heart let her know mm -hmm. but uh i love that so the ancient name is mishnah hatara the repetition right. of torah okay mm. the greek is deuteron okay here we here we go. Deuteronomium, meon. Deuteronomion. So deuter, O N O M I O N. Deuteronomia. <laughs> or second law. That's the Greek. They called it, the Greeks called it the second law. That's how we got the name Deuteronomy. So there's your fun facts. Fun fact for that. All Greek to me. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> exactly. Basically, he's just saying, this is how we get, this is how we got here, y'all. He's like up there saying, y'all, this is how we got here. Yep. And some of you ain't, you're not going to be going you. forward. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the, everyone going to go across right now. You're is the ones living. It was really interesting because he even tells them, I was, I should talk to you about this earlier, huh? He even tells them in like, in the beginning, where'd I write it down? early verse, uh, like verse 39, 139. He's like, these little ones, you all thought they were going to be the plunder. You thought they weren't even going to get to go in, but guess what? They're going to be going in because they don't have the same knowledge of good and evil as you do. I mean, basically what he's saying is you can't take your baggage into the promised land. We right. need to get this all set up. I want you to go empowered. I yes. want you so full of the word and so empowered. Yes. You know why? So you know who you are. Hey man, let's get down to it, Charlie. That is that right there is the crux of it. I love it. You just that's the crux of it. We need to know who we are so that we can do this. If yes. we don't know who we are, then how do we know what we how do we know how to walk? I, if you don't know who you are, you're lost. No. And that's, that's why so many people are so caught up on like, I want to do like 23 and me or uh, ancestry.com mm -hmm. is because we want to know who we are. We want to feel like we're attached to something. We want to feel those well, things. It's, it's a thing inside of us that we want to know who exactly. we are. Exactly. But this isn't, I mean, the other thing is you want to know when you get in there, like, <laughs> how do I walk this out? He, he is empowering them. Yeah. He's empowering you. Yes to take your promised land, to walk in your calling, to take yeah. over the things that were promised to your grandparents, your Hallelujah. parents, 
That's right. He's calling you forth right now. He's shaking mm. things up in your home, in your life with your children. He's saying it's time for us to go into another level. It's time for us to do this. And I, this is so important. I just feel it in my bones. It is so, so important for us to pay attention to this yeah. book at this time. Amen. I believe that Charlie, I really feel that was, that was a prophetic word that you just said. It's really important for you to grasp a hold of who you are. And if your ancestors didn't, didn't, weren't able to make that movement, to make that leap of faith, he says that he visits every generation and he will visit the sins of the fathers upon every generation, seven generations, seven generations, seven generations. Why does he do that? Because he wants each and every generation to be redeemed and he wants each and every bloodline redeemed. Yes. And he will be in the face of everyone in that generation to allow that change, that turn, that shuv, that return to him. That's his goal. That's yes. his heart. That's what he does. That's why we're here, right? Yes. We're here to be part of that. That's yes. why we influence people because that's, he's done it for us. So we, we want that to be the thing that's released from us also, right? It is. And, and we, we can look at this the generations too. redeemed. Absolutely. And this, yeah. this, this book is set up. This is just a nerd fact, but this book is Ooh, actually set up facts. crazy. This book is quoted like over, it's like the, Yeshua quoted Deuteronomy more than any other, like many other Torah, but we won't talk about Isaiah or anything, but like, as far as Torah, eight over 80 times in the new Testament. Okay. Beautiful. And it's set up. It follows the same patterns of an ancient near East covenant document. So it's been great. I mean, this is like nerdy for everyone who needs a little something nerdy, but it is actually the suzerainty. How do you say that? Susan Suzerain Suzerainty. Suzerainty. Suzerainty Treaty. I can say it in my head. Yeah, me too. So, anyways, it's the S word treaty, Suzerainty yeah. <laughs> Treaty. It's and that just means that in the ancient Near East, it was when a great king was coming into covenant with a dependent or a lesser nation, and it's defining the relationship between them. Right. So right. this is set up again for Moses. All he's doing basically is reading the ketubah. He's reading this document, the marriage document you see he's reading this agreement he's going through it again just saying if this is who you are this is who i am when you do this i do right. this i'm gonna go before you i'm gonna protect you i'm gonna do all these things this is a, a book full of the covenant i mean full of it full of it full of it it's a full of love mm -hmm. full of love i mean it, it's it's part of the covenant he's telling you how much he loves you. And he's telling yeah. us how much he wants you to love him with all your heart yeah, and all your mind and with all your strength. Amen. That's what he's telling you. That's, that's, that's in here. He's telling us about listening, obeying, and he's telling us about how to remember how we're supposed to remember. I screenshotted, uh, gosh, this is like the Gail party today. I screenshotted, uh, what Gail wrote on the, on the portion so for those of you who didn't get to read it yet. This is some terms that are in this book that we're going to go through, through the whole book. So it's super important that you have these as a, as a basis, Shema, mm. the word Shema, you're going to hear, hear, listen, obey, as in, we will listen to your voice, respond to the words in a positive way, letting those words change your way of thinking, speaking, acting, and our relationships. You're well, going to hear Shema, true. hear, O Israel. Every time you hear, hear, I want you to see Shema. And it isn't just like, oh yeah, I heard it because there's so much noise. Isn't it just perfect? Oh, I love it. Isn't oh it perfect gosh. that there is so much noise? Isn't that, an, oh I think that's gosh. a tactic of the enemy. If he brings a mm -hmm. bunch of noise, we can't shema. Right. Distracts us. And we're going to hear that in here is that he's going to be telling us, I need you to shema. Then he says, I'm going to need you to shamar. Mm. I need you to keep. And I'll read what Gail wrote on this. We will keep your covenants these, this means we consider them valuable enough to protect, to cling to, to cherish. Like in Psalms 121 said, God keeps Israel. We're going to, as much as he keeps us, we're going to keep his command. You know why? Yes. And I had written this down in one of my notes in my, in my, in this portion is that when we, people see us keeping shamaring, they see us keeping and guarding and protecting the covenant, the covenantal timeframes, the covenantal acts, whether it's what we're eating, whether it's the 
calendar we're going by, whatever it is, if he's seeing us protecting the, his word, mm-hmm. it's going to, it's no one else is it's it's going to be different and it's going to draw them in to say what i mean haven't you been around a couple and you're like whoa i want to be like them they're loving to each other they're respectful to each other they're yeah. keeping their covenants with each other not just they're not running around on each other but they're you can tell that they actually the way they walk it out every day and you want to that's why everyone wanted to follow yeshua because he was walking right. it out and they had never seen anyone do it in so much love. It wasn't about the rules. It wasn't about this. Oh, I have to do this or I'm going to, you know, it was about mm-hmm. the loving way that it brought you into covenant relationship with him mm-hmm. so that made that different. And then to us saw a S a H to us saw to do as in, we will do what you say. Um, she quotes Bill Bullock in here. She says, interact with raw materials, creativity, the way a potter interacts with clay, working with it, molding it and forming it until it gradually becomes something useful, valuable, and beautiful. That's what we're to do. We're to us saw we're to do it. Yes. We hear it. We keep it and guard it. And then we do it. That's right. We get to partner with him, Brenda. We get to I partner know. with him in this covenant. We are co, yeah. co, co-creators in this whole, right? We get to be a bat. We get to be so part of it. What a gift. Seriously, a gift. Yeah. It's him. It's him taking our face in his hands and saying, listen to me. This is really important. Yeah. This Not is good. what you get to do. I, I trust you. I'm in, I'm giving you this responsibility. I trust you. That's what he's doing with us. He's trusting us. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's just beautiful. I love those three words. Those are three. Those are the three words. I think that if anyone wants to, you know, like if, if you really want to start figuring out what it means to walk in covenant relationship with him, you start with the Shabbat, right? I mean, that's like the basic fundamental is you, you start with Shabbat in Hebrew, when you're, when you're wanting to figure out how this, what does this mean in the word? Those are the, those are the first three words I think that you should really learn and really, really meditate on and really focus on. Every time you see the word obey, um, hear, listen, uh, that's the word Shema. And it, and it's not just with the ears, it's with everything in you. It's, it's, it's the tuning fork of the music, making it. you vibrate oh, to it. the sound yes. of the tuning fork. Yes. You're, you should feel, I have to tell a funny story, but this just, I had a, it. flashed a picture. Um, I was in the car one time with my husband. He was listening to something on the radio it was a baseball game or something. He was listening and um, he couldn't quite hear what they were saying. So he leaned in and turned up the radio and then listened because he wanted to really hear what was happening. And I was driving and I remember I remember looking at him and going, I wish you did that to me. Like, (laughs) you know, when I'm talking that you stopped everything, leaned in and turned like really focusing because I don't want to miss a word. That's, that's Shema. Wow. Wow. It's so is. And then going, yep. And, and getting it done. And that Shema, that keeping that tending, that's like, Mm. like what a gardener does. You know, you see a weed, you're like, oh no, not in my garden. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 no. that little that little aphid eh, eh, not in my garden you know it's like it's like keeping all the things that would prevent this garden from being the most fruitful that it can be you keep all of those things away like abraham did what did abraham do he shoot away the birds right it's right. like you keep those things away that are going to corrupt your garden the things that are going to um, ruin your crop because you love your garden. And so that's your shamar. So when he's telling you to keep his commandments, it's not because he wants you to be robots in this obedience that thinks that you think is going to make you earn something. It's not that at all. Mm -hmm. It's walking it out because all of a sudden your heart's beating at the same rhythm that his heart's beating and his music is resounding in you. And now your hearts are beating at the same rhythm. That's why he wants us to keep his commandments so that we know him so that we understand him because it's the way he thinks, not the way we think his ways are higher than our ways. We don't think like that. No. And this goes right back to when you're hearing, if you, if you abide, if, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, Shema, Shamar, whatever you ask, it's going to be given yep. to you. Why? Right. Because you know the rules of the house. 
Yeah. You know, the heart of your father, you know what you can ask for and give it to him. So yeah. you can without hesitation. And, and, you know, this is, it's always worth repeating. There's a few things you'll always hear us saying, and this is one of them is when you are abiding with the father, when you are, when your heart is in tune with him and you're in alignment and you know, you know, his word, you know, his covenants with you, you know, his promises to you and his, the commandments, whatever you ask, we're going to be, is going to be given to you. Why? Cause you're not going to ask for crazy stuff, right? You're going to ask for things that align with his heart because yeah. your heart will be like your father's. Yeah. What's going to happen. You're not going to ask for him to throw down a bunch of, you want a new meat coat. And you need a brand new Range Rover. I mean, not that those are bad things. I'm not saying that. But what I'm no. saying is that's not what your heart is going to be longing for. You know what your heart's right. going to long for? The redemption of your family. Yeah. Exactly. The salvation of your children. Yeah. The healing of someone. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens? You can ask for that. And with confidence, you can start not begging him for it. You're not a bit, you have never seen, he's never seen the righteous forsaken, right? We don't have to beg. You can say, thank you, father, that you are healing my children. Thank you, father. You're bringing redemption yes. to my bloodline. Amen. Thank you, father, that whatever I ask in your name, you're going to give it to me. And I know it is your will that my family is redeemed because you said you're going to chase them down seven generations. So yep. I'm going to stand in the gap and I'm going to go with you. Cause I I'm, yep. I'm, I'm not, can I come to dad? I'm going to yeah. chase my kids down. I'm going to chase down my family in love. And I'm going to walk this out. So loving that they can't help, yeah. but want to be with me. Absolutely. You know what else you're going to pray father change my heart. Yes. Yeah. Your father, make my heart like your heart. Yeah. Father, would you help me understand your word? Because it's confusing and I don't understand it. Would you help me? Yeah. Cause I don't know. I don't get it. It's really hard. And it seems like these guys are talking and how do they know this is, but if you ask him that I have, mm -hmm. I do all, the I can time. sit down and, and I start reading and it used to be one or two words. Now it's paragraphs. Now it's the chapter. It comes alive. It sings to me. It wasn't always like that sister. It was not always like that. I used to read it and be like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Charlie Brown's teacher, <laughs> holy Charlie Brown teacher. <laughs> And now I can't wait to learn one more thing. Yeah. Now it's like victory. We're going to go through this and we're going to see the victory. I mean, I mm -hmm. want you to see he's Moses is, retells the whole story of the Amorites. Why does he do that? Okay. It's a war, right. big deal. That's no. what I want you asking. Why is he doing mm -hmm. that? Right. Why and does he use those words Meditate why? on it? Why did he, why did he use those words, Charlie? Why, you know, those are the things we get to ask. Yes. Why, why are you using these words? What does this mean? Why and did you say that twice? You don't think he's going to want, you don't think he's going to any good father. If you ask for it, you think he's going to say, nope, not giving you that. Not going to tell you it's a mystery. No, he wants you to, he wants you to read it like a love letter. You're like, hmm, why did he say that? You know why? Because he wanted to reinforce their, their, yep. their confidence. Remember yes, the Amorites? Remember when you kicked their hineys, their little patooties? <laughs> you remember when that happened? That's the reason they used to put the uh, altars up to remind them of what, when God did something amazing. Remember when he brought water from the rocks? Remember when he fed us when we didn't have yes. food? Remember when this happened? Yes. Cause he's got to build them up. Cause he, he's yeah. about to go in sister. You're about to go take some land and he's wanting to build you up right now. Mm -hmm. I think you might need to be getting your journal out and start writing out all the blessings of the father. So you start telling your children, sitting them down saying, you know what? When I was three years old, he healed me of rheumatic fever or whatever I'm making things yeah. up. You yeah. need to go through the stories and tell your family, like, well, the things that I love you. Thank you. My husband just dropped me off food. Oh, you, love you, Randy. <laughs> you need to be, you need to be retelling the story to your generations and re encouraging their faith. Yes. You know what? I was struggling because some of us, we grew up, we don't tell our stories, but it was a long time ago when the father told me you need to live out loud. And you know what? It's hard yep. sometimes because people will hurt you. But you know what? Yes. No weapon formed against me will prosper. And every word that rises against me shall fail. So let me tell you, girls, I've had some hard times. I went through a really ugly divorce and it was horrible and it was hurtful. And my church left me and they, they, they turned their backs on me. And, and I didn't make great decisions after that. I had a little, little wilderness tryst. I would did my own little thing for a little while. I have, you have to know that you're not alone. You have to know that you can be encouraged in the word. You have to be encouraged knowing that I fought the battle and the battle and I won because he was with me. It may look like wherever you're at right now, you're failing, but you know what? There's, we all have Amorites. We all have Amorites. Mm -hmm. 
and Hittites and, and Hittites Jebusites and all, those, and- <laughs> all the ites. Go back to the all the go ites. listen to Deb go termites to, and you need to listen to Dr. Deb's uh, teaching from the conference on the ites. <laughs> so good, that is so good, Charlie. Your you know your testimony is so, is such a blessing because uh, you know people can think that we you know just like oh yeah that's easy because they no no none of us are exempt from hardships. None of us are exempt from getting hurt. None of us are exempt from, from all the things that happen. And, um, you know, none of us are. And so it's good. It's good to know. It's good to know that, um, you know, we need to have, we need to have story time sometime. <laughs> Not Absolutely. Now, but and even sometime the story, time for, story time, <laughs> even for Israel, when we're stressing yeah. out about all the things happening in Israel, sister, do you, yeah. need to he- do I need to read you some stories about what he has done for them? Oh my gosh. Some of us Hello. need to remember the historical, the historical review of what the faith review of what happened in Israel, what's going on with him. Oh my Lord. Hey, just this first chapter of, of, uh, Devarim, the very first chapter, every, every single, every single verse is a hyperlink to remind. And I love how Moses did this. Mm-hmm. He's, he, he, he puts words in there. He doesn't say, so he doesn't say, uh, let's see. Okay. So when you're, um, when you're when you were wandering out around and and blabbing your heads off and driving everybody crazy and <laughs> slandering God, he didn't say that he said concerning the wilderness i mean is he a loving is he a loving rabbi or what yes, that's what moses yes. said concerning the wilderness what does that mean it's a hyperlink back to when they were complaining mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so what he's doing is he's saying okay Remember when this happened and what the result of it was? I mean, you guys, how many times did plagues break out because of their complaining? How many right. times did plagues break out? Even on Miriam, the prophetess, she was amazing. She got caught up in the moment and she blew it and, you know, publicly started browbeating Moses and <laughs> talking bad. And all of a sudden she's got leprosy and then she's healed. But she still had to be outside the camp for a week. I have, I have had to spend some time outside the camp. Yeah. Brenda. I have talked about some of my leadership and I'm pretty sure that was my penances. Things happened to me and I was outside the camp for a while. Of course yeah. I griped the whole time saying, no, it's calling me back. Why doesn't yeah. anybody hear me? No one knows my right. side of the story. Right. And then he reminds me that was my leprosy and that I, that was all that was oozing out of me and I was not fit for human consumption. So of course he wasn't going to let me talk to anyone else. He had right. to put me outside the camp so I wouldn't infect or affect other exactly. people. So if that's happening in your lives, let's get self-aware. Yeah. Because right. if that's happening, it's because right. he's protecting, not just you, yeah. because he doesn't want that to be your reputation with others. Is mm-hmm. it your crazy lady? He's trying to no. keep you away and he's trying to protect you from some of those things. Brenda, mm. when I'm reading this, this portion, mm. uh, Parsha, I just, I'm going to encourage you guys to do this, go through and read it as if it's being read, as if it's being told to you, mm. as if it was a letter written to you mm-hmm. and reminding you about your history and your life. And there's a couple of things that I stick out. He's going to say, he's going to say, I'm going to use, I see Marsha's right in front of my face right now. So I'm going to say you, Marsha, we're going to pick on you today, Marsha. Hi, you Marcia, got a big you're smile on your face. Here we, we go. Marsha, you. <laughs> Marsha, you've crossed the Jordan going into Moab. And I'm going to explain the Torah and say to you, Adonai, your God spoke to you at Horeb. And he has told you, Marsha, that you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Oh. Uh. Uh. For sure. He comes back and he tells you later, he says, I spoke to you at times saying, I'm not able to bear this burden. You've, you've felt like you couldn't bear it all. And he gave you solutions. And he says, look at the stars. Look, remember who I am. Look at the stars. I've told you who you are. Look up at the stars. And remember, I said, you were going to be as mighty as those. However, over in 34, he says, but when Adonai heard your tone of your words, oh, Oh. He was a little angry. <laughs> See what I'm saying, <laughs> sisters? Go through. Read it as if it's to you, because it is. He's saying, I heard your tone that one day, and uh, yep. 
that was my, my work. I'm, I have a, a tree of life version and in verse 34. He says, when Adonai heard the tone of your words, he was angry. <laughs> Oops. We can't it's even get of- away with a tone of voice guys. No. Roll your eyes. It's in here. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't. <sighs> yes. So good. Yeah. We think we're getting away with it. We're not. Yeah, we're not. And he comes back in two verse two, he says, and then he spoke to you. He spoke to you saying, you have gone around this hill country long enough. I, this. I feel like he's telling all of us today. Yes. He amen. talks about the giants. Don't worry about the giants. Don't be afraid of the giants. Yep. They're going to be in don't, there and don't provoke them. Don't leave provoke them alone. The leave them alone. Leave them alone. Miss Sassy Bridges. Yep. Don't need to be provoking the giants. Take don't your hand off your hip. Take your hand off your hip. Stop snapping at them. <laughs> Can I just, can I have to share, can I just, let me just tell my, I got my hiney kicked. Can I tell my Home Depot oh, yeah. story? Oh, tell Lord. them your Home Depot. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Please do. So I don't have to tell a story. Please do. Save oh, me the embarrassment. Guys, pray for me. <laughs> it was actually Lowe's. I was in Lowe's. I was grabbing some stuff because we are finishing out, uh, our, we ripped everything out of our bedroom in the RV and we're redoing all that. And it's almost done. Thank you. We're going to sleep in our bed tonight. But I'm in line. I'm tired. I'm hot. I've been, I mean, hot and tired. My body doesn't feel good. I have all the excuses. There's a lady walking around with a few kids. She's got one of those, she's pushing her car and not really self-aware or others aware. And she's got this big, long carpet inside of her thing. And so she's bumping hit more than once. She's blocking the aisle. I want to go down. So I'm having to go down and all the way around. And I'm like, I have no spoons left in my energy pockets here. And I have too many steps on my counter. I need to just, my body is not happy with me. I just want to be done. And everywhere this woman was and her children who were just like all over the place. And I thought, I went there. I'm just going to be honest. I went there. I was not very loving. And so I didn't say anything, but I'm sure I had eye rolls. I'm sure. So we get up to the counter, I check out, I get my stuff and uh, I said, oh, I need our military discount. And she says, oh, I have to do it over here. So I had to take all my stuff and just, just like two steps over and no big deal. She did it. That lady pulls up, blocks the way. So I can't get out first of all, with her big old carpet, all her kids are running around bumping into me and, and I was sensitive, painfully. You're ouchy. You're I was very ouchy. Out. So they were touching me and it was, I mean, they were bumping and then I'm, eh. I should have stayed. I should have been outside the camp. This is the <laughs> truth. So the lady's helping me and I'm giving her money. And she says, she's interrupting the whole, can you help me? Can you do this? And then she goes, as soon as I'm done with this lady, I'll help you. Just, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were with someone. Now I'm almost shoulder to shoulder with this woman. So I'm not. And you're a tall girl, so it's not like she I'm didn't five, notice nine. you. <laughs> Actually, I'm five eight and a half now. Apparently, I've sprung. Okay. So I'm five eight and a half, and I didn't. Sl- I, my head wanted to snap and be like, "Really? Like that's what I wanted to do?" So I thought I was being cool, but I wasn't. I look at the cashier, and under my breath, I think I say, <clears throat> "Yeah, because we're not like right here handing you money. Like you can't tell you're with someone." That came out of my mouth, everyone. Mm -hmm. And then, and she goes, oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't see. And I was like, I push the car. As soon as I got out the door, I didn't even get to my truck yet. I get out the door. The Holy one says, good thing. She doesn't recognize you. I know, man. Now you'll never be able to minister to that lady because of your attitude. I was like, oh, like good thing. She isn't some lady who watches the portion. If you're there and you were at Lowe's and you saw me, I'm so sorry. I was a horrible person, but you guys, we just, he is calling us to such a higher level. Even our tones, even our eye rolls. Yep. Yep. It doesn't, if you don't feel good, don't go out, stay home. Yeah, that's right. Stay home. Yeah. Do without that happened. So there you are raw. That happened to me. I was not yeah. proud of myself. And yeah. And he said that he's a, well, it's a good thing that she didn't recognize you. So now I'm going to be in glasses and a hat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just said, just said in the chat, she said, I'm going to be home for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the 
sister. Why do you think I was alone in California for 15 years? <laughs> oh, sister. You know, Brenda, isn't That's it interesting? Mess. Because I, I mean, I am, let's turn it to you now because I was, oh, let's talk okay. about you. Okay, fine. So it's really, I love the fact that you were, you were asked by Jane to, to teach at the women of valor conference because of this. Mm. Many of you guys don't know, Brenda had this was kind of sat back in the wilderness and, and you know why we were talking about this today. We were saying it's probably good that he didn't let us like roam free because we would hurt people (laughs) with all of our crazy religion. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Can you imagine Brenda? We'd be having to issue lots of <laughs> retractions. Well, I think I'm banned from several states. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've got a picture of my on the airport. They got a picture with a line through it. <laughs> it's like not her. Mm-mm, don't let her back in here. <laughs> oh, his yeah. timing is perfect, ladies. I I really yeah. felt this whole time, and and some of you personally, you know, I know that I'm going to pick you on you, Misty. Um, personally, we'll constantly be saying he, it's get ready, get ready, get it ready, Brenda, get ready, get ready, really get ready. Get ready. Yeah. No, it really is. I want to shake you up. I want to be the Devarim. Yeah. I want to be that yeah. B that's you shaking are. you up right now. And I want to say, yeah. get ready sister, because yeah. he's about to do some things that he's saying, and I need you to know who you are. I need you to get this down. Yes. I need you to fall in love with this so much that you're holding onto it and protecting it yeah. with your, all your life, because you know, you cannot yes. survive without it at the level I'm going to take you to Yep. because they were in the plains of Moab, looking across Jericho, looking across the Jordan and Mm -hmm. seeing Jericho the first, right. Mm -hmm. They could have never taken Jericho and listen. We said, okay, walk seven times. They'd be like, what are you on crack? I'm not going to walk around that for seven Mm -hmm. times. I'm tired. It's hot out here, but they had just been pumped up. This is like the, this is the big, this is the big locker room thing where there he's like, okay, guys, this is what's going to happen. We're going to go in and you're going to be, remember what happened when we fought them? We won. Remember nobody died. Yay. Remember when this happened? Eh, Don't do that again. Remember what that's, what's going to happen. Yeah. It's, it's the halftime rally in the, in the locker room guys. Absolutely. It's like, come on, we're going to do this. We're getting all pumped up. And the seven times I love that because that is so significant when you circle something seven times. It's like at the wedding, at, at, at the wedding, you serve the wife, the Ezer Konegdo, the one who attaches herself to as a guardian around her husband, walks seven times around her husband, encircling him seven times. That's that. And he, he gives her a ring, a circle that never ends. She circles him seven times. He gives her a ring that never ends. And he puts it on her finger. She's circling him seven times saying, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Nothing will break my vow. I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to protect will. you with my life, with my life, with my words, with my thoughts. I will be your champion. I will protect you. I will, I will keep you. I will stand up to you. If I need to, I will, I will be your helper. Yeah. I will just do hard things. as the spirit of God is, is, is our helper. Yes. And ladies, and I hope you it. feel that because we circle you in prayer like that. Oh my goodness. Every day, every single, we circle you in day, prayer like that. We will do day. the hard thing. Sometimes yeah. it's fighting ourselves. Sometimes it might be fighting you, but we will do mm-hmm. it. And yep. we'll still be friends and we're going to hold hands and be on the other end. Yep. 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 This isn't going to be the group of women where you get in a fight and you get to leave because we'll come find you. Yeah. We'll be like, okay, hi, I'm here again. <laughs> you're mad. Okay. Me too. So what are we going to do about it? Yeah. Do you want to talk? Not talk, That's, but when yeah. you're, you're in the covenant, we're in a covenant sisterhood right. here. So not going anywhere, not going anywhere. Mm-mm. Yeah. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> yeah, that, that is Brenda knows I'm like, Brenda knows I'm that way too. Brenda mm-hmm. visited me one time. I'm telling on you. Brenda was okay. visiting me one time mm-hmm. and I said something that hurt her feelings. I'm, and so I'm trying she, to remember. She went to bed. She was, I'm going to bed early. It was a long time ago. Okay. Vista. When we were, I was in Vista, you came to visit. And you went up to bed and I can <laughs> I knew I knew I did something, but I didn't know what I had said because I have this mouth. So I like went up there and I sat on the bed and she's like, I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm like, no, mm-mm. what'd I do? She's like, nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. What'd you do? I'm not going. So you might as well tell me or we're just going to sit like this all night long. So finally, you know, she told me and then we got to fix it. I got to be, be sorry, yeah. but that's how we need to be with our families. Oh our, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, sometimes he may say, Hey, I need you to put a boundary here. I uh, love this person from afar because they're toxic and they're hurting. Yeah. You. 
Right. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I have some boundaries. I'm, mm-hmm. I am very confident in setting boundaries and so, God's got boundaries. He God's has boundaries, boundaries that covers all of that stuff. Yes. Yes. I feel like we're all over the place. We are. No, we're not. No, no, no. And you know, the the thing that I, this is the intro. This is verse one. So, (laughs) so the thing I love about you saying that, Charlie, I really didn't remember. I was really like searching my mind. Like, when did that, when did that? But I remember now, um, because what happens is we all have baggage. So what whatever it was, I don't remember the exact thing it was, but whatever it was that Charlie said to me that hurt my feelings, it hurt my feelings because I was carrying baggage that I wasn't supposed Mm. to be carrying. And so that's what, and so we had to work it out and we did, oh my gosh. And I love that she doesn't let go just like I won't let go, huh? No, (laughs) I won't let go either. (laughs) No. Yeah. So we're, when we're saying that we're serious and there's a few of you in here, I don't, I can't see all the names in here, but there's a couple of you you might've had Hey, I don't agree with you on something. And we uh, either agree to disagree, but we still love each other. We don't stop talking. We like dive in and hang in because that's what we're here to do. And of course, we're going to all be different. Of course, that's going to happen. But I am not going to let us be a place where we say, well, I don't, you know, it's a bunch of women. It's going to be, no, no, we are all as their connectos. Put your big girl panties on and go fight for your girlfriends. That's right. Love them, love you know, them, to, love them to death. Maybe you just be like, I'm mad at you right now, but I love you. And I need a couple of days to calm down because I'm whatever I say is not life giving, but I love you too much yeah. to say what I want to say right now, but I am getting back to you and we are not yeah. breaking up. That's right. <laughs> no breakups. No, we need to be supporting. You know, I had a wonderful conversation with, um, Jane uh, Diffenderfer uh, on Tuesday uh, over in the cafe. Uh, I have a program on Tuesdays where I get an opportunity to meet with people in our community and then and then and other people and interview them. It's it's wonderful. Called Tuesday Talk. And anyway, Jane was on there and talking, and we were talking about how valuable it is to have communities of women that truly understand that we don't have to agree on everything. In mm-hmm. fact, it's a lot better if we don't. I mean, how great is it that some of you are going I through love it. completely different I love calendars it. than what Charlie and I are on. I love it. it. And, and we're not saying we're right and you're wrong I love or it. you're right. And we're wrong. We're saying we've got some differences. And one day Yeshua is going to be back here and he's going to work out all the calendar stuff. And we're all going to be on the same calendar. And until then we get to love each other yes. in the midst of it and not judge each other, no. but support one another. You know, when somebody else is going through a holiday that we've already been through, send them your stuff, <laughs> you know, right? like, Hey, don't buy anything. I've got extras, send it to them or, you know, pass it along instead of saying well they're not celebrating on the right day forget that that's what they said about the samaritans and guess what yeshua went to the well and sat with her because uh, they weren't doing it the right way they weren't doing it the right so, way so you, there's a couple ladies who i've asked to leave from the on this right here here we go with everything today the portion oh, the reason well. is go because ahead. they were hateful and they were hateful to other women and like well if you can't handle controversy and i'm like there's nowhere biblically that says we're supposed to have controversy Nowhere does it nope. say that's how we love each other. Yes, I love I one another. Say iron sharpening iron. Yes, but that's yes. respectfully. That's respectful. And you guys are rocking it. Can yeah. I just say rocking you it are. in here? I'm loving yep. when someone asks a question and people don't have the same opinions and they're loving each other the way they answer hot yeah. topics because we yes. are watching. We watch it. Yeah. We protect you. We're as yeah, they're connect we do. doing in there. We have yeah. ladies that are moderators that they're watching, not because we're controlling. Oh dear Lord. Mm-hmm. No. no, it's because we're trying to, we're protecting from someone. If you, you can oh. disagree lovingly. Yeah. And who, what a great way to bring great reasoning together. Isn't mm-hmm. that beautiful to reason together? Yes. Okay. And I can tell, I want to brag about like Erica, Sombra, mm-hmm. Yeah. If you want friends who are going to, it doesn't matter if they're, they're on a different calendar, they're doing they're something different a different calendars. way, it doesn't mm-hmm. even matter. Nope. Those sisters will love on you like nothing. Yeah. And I mean, amazing, amazing. Yeah. And, and you'll never know. I mean, it'll be like, oh yeah, I do it this way, but they'll jump on and explain it to you and not try to win right. you over to their way. Right. That makes, I can't even tell you how much Man. I love that. I know it. I know. Yeah. And it's so, it's so beautiful to see the dynamic and, um, and yeah, we jump in on conversations and a lot of times Charlie and I, and, um, well, Charlie, especially, but me, when I have a chance to get in there, 
um, we won't always answer the questions if you notice. Like when people are asking questions, you're not wanting our answer. What you want is dialogue. What you want is, is, is people saying, well, this is what I have, you know, this is what I'm bringing to the table. And you can, and lovingly, you don't have to agree with everything. That's fine. But being respectful, we will, we will ask you to be respectful. If you're not respectful, we will ask you to be respectful. And if you're not respectful again, then we, then we'll take your comment off. You know, we want you to be respectful of one another, but go ahead and, and say, well, this is what I got from that, or this is how I understand that. Um, You know, and, and I love that, Charlie, you're so right. Women, you women are awesome. You give different perspectives because each one of us is filled with the spirit of the Holy one. And Mm. we're all walking this out from our own personal perspective. Yeah. And that's what makes it beautiful and unique. And it's not that one's better than another, but Mm -hmm. all together, look what we have. You know, none of us are complete in ourselves, but together, look how beautiful that is. It's beautiful. And this seems like, like, like what the, does this have to do with everything? This has everything to do with everything because we're, this is how you Shema, Shamar, Asa. This is how you do those things. And we can't learn how to do it without being in community with one another. Mm -hmm. And he's talking to them as a community. He yeah. didn't, he's talking to all of them. It's, this is like campfire talk. This is, they're yeah. sitting around saying, this is what's going to happen. This is how we're going to do things. This is just a beautiful going through. I can't encourage you enough just to go back through and reread it as if it was something being read to you. Um, someone asked, what does a saw mean? A saw means to do, it's a building term. Yes. It's to do, it's to build, it's to put something together. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so it's walking it out. It's not just, it's not just doing it and being done with it. It's walking it out. And now it's something that has become part of who you are. Mm, good. So it there's, it's purposeful. It's purposeful doing. Yeah. Yes. You know, one of the things too, we didn't even talk about with Devarim is the um, actual word Devarim and the Hebrew means setting things in a row. I always thought that was really interesting. Like, how does that figure in with anything? It's setting things in a row, arranging things in an order. It's, it's orderly and setting things in a row it means to lead, to guide, especially talking about flocks and herds. Okay. So now are you getting the little hyperlinks to Yeshua? feed my sheep. Mm. <laughs> Are you getting that now? Devarim, feed my sheep. Okay. Um, and it means to bring into order to a pasture, to rule, to direct a people, to follow, to be behind, to subdue. So it's talking about putting things in order. His words the spirit of the living God speaking forth his words are setting us in order at the fall. We had chaos, right? And so he sets his word sets us in order. It sets everything up so that it is perfectly aligned with him. It's a building. It's building terms. Think about everything is building. Everything oh, so is good. building. He's building a family. He's building the temple. He's building mm-hmm. the place where he'll dwell. Everything's being built. Yes. So when you're a sign, when you're doing those things are being put into order. When you Shema and you're listening, you're setting your heart and your mind in order. Now, all of a sudden things are being laid out properly. When you're keeping things, you're grabbing hold of things. You're holding on, you're caring for, you're guarding them, you're protecting them. And then you're walking it out and doing it. So Shema, you you know, that's my jam. You know, that is your jam. jam. Talking about order. And and I'm, I love me some order. I love me some systems and some order. That's my favorite. You all wanted my love language. Yeah. Send me a spreadsheet. That's (laughs) just so excited or good Trello board. Send that to me. Um, I just had a visual of something when you were talking about Mm -hmm. Devarim, I was just seeing because, and I have, this is just new girls for me this year is really trying to learn the letters. I'm not trying to speak Hebrew yet, but I'm trying to learn the letters Uh and seeing the energy of the letters through Brenda's course. So I'm seeing the Dalit for the Devarim. I'm seeing the Dalit and I'm like, it's a door. It's a door. Yeshua says he was the way, the door. They called the way into the tabernacle, the door that went in there, the way he says he was the way the truth and the life that no one comes to the father, except through him. I I just keep seeing this over. And he says, I stand at the door and knock behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone open, hears me and opens Shema, Asa, all the words, if anyone here, I'm knocking, 
and he's at the yeah. door. If yeah. we open that door, that Dalit, mm -hmm. he's saying, I'm going to connect you to the revelation. I'm going to give you what living waters, right? He's saying, if anyone, I will sup with them and them with me. Remember we said, we talked about it being food. It was like nourishment sister. There is nothing new in the word. There's nothing new under the sun. The word doesn't contradict itself. You should constantly see hyperlinks constantly. I used to really dread regret that I was not um, raised in a uh, Jewish family or a messianic Aww. family. I used to, I used to say, father, why did you let me go through being a Christian? Like, I'm, I don't want to say it that way. Cause I don't mean it that way. I don't mean it like being, cause I still consider my, I'm a father of Christ. Of course. I, why did he let me go through the church and do the hurts and the things that I went through the way that I did? I didn't understand. I felt lied to. I felt like people didn't teach me truth. I didn't understand. I was confused, especially as a minister. I'm like, I'm a minister and, and I'm, I'm teaching and, and you did, why didn't you tell me? I, I mean, I went through that phase. Right. And I know that some of you have gone through this phase too, and it's just confusing. Mm. And he reminded me, you know, when we're sitting here and you're sharing things or things are happening, I get these hyperlinks. Why? Because I studied the word under those people yes, as a girl did. in Bible study, as a girl in Bible quiz team. And he may, I had to study chapters and memorize chapters and chapters and going through missionettes in the assembly of God and memorizing so many scriptures and tons and tons of memorization. You know what? I probably wouldn't have done that. Maybe if I had gone through a messianic home or a Jewish home, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have memorized the new Testament and the scriptures that I needed to know that now when we're going through stuff, it's a hyperlink. I'm like, Oh, that's what that meant. That's what he was saying. Exactly. Now it's alive and it makes sense to me. And so I no longer begrudge those, but, but some of you, maybe if you're going through that, just know you're not alone and mm -hmm. feel free. You can help. You can reach out to us because yeah. it's, it's a struggle, but just know all things work for your good. Right all of it. Oh. It's, it's the, the Emuna life. It's all good. It's He's going to make it good. all good. So he, there was a reason you went through what you went through. There's a reason you learned the way you learned. There's a reason you started where you started and now you're going to end where you end, or not, maybe you're going somewhere else. Well, I don't know, but so good. <sighs> let me show Let me show everybody a, a, a Dalit. Okay. There's a Dalit. Is down a face, little bit, down a little it, bit. There you go. Facing, is it facing the right way, Charlie? Yes. Okay. So there's the Dalit. And look at this. This is the hay. It's a Dalit with a yod right there, which represents God. This is Yeshua God. Uh -huh. standing at the door. There's Yeshua standing at the door. So there's the door. Because he wants to have revelation. That's what the hay. Yep. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, look at you. You know these things. <sighs> Well, it's I love that beautiful. because that, that word, hey, the hey, hey, I, I mean, we say it like, <laughs> hey, but really it's the, it's that out breath. It's, it's that, that breath. love. It's the breath. Of, <sighs> the pants. So good. It's the breath. It's the beautiful breath of God. Oh my goodness. We, oh, we have so much to talk about. Charlie. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's a question on Facebook. Um, Tasha's asking if you can answer what is a zero connecto? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Okay. That's awesome. You know, it's really fun when the first time I learned about a zero connecto, I think I read it in Skip Moen, Moen's book. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we have that book in our, if you go in, if you just, it's the link to the book in our um, store. Um, we're not selling it. It's just we try to put things in there to make it easy for you to find and go to Amazon and get it or whatever. And we do have an affiliate link in there, just so you know, that it is attached as well. So we yeah. love that you use that. We appreciate um, that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's thank really you. helpful. You know, I mean, I have to share, do you guys know our, like our zoom bill now is like crazy. And like our text, I was re looking at even our text messages. I'm excited because there's so many of you, but yeah. it's like $200 a month just to send texts out to everyone. So anyway, so, um, so use your links, <laughs> use your links. <laughs> even if it's only three cents per book, it's, <laughs> it's three cents per book and for that text message, <laughs> the Azir Connecto, it was so cool when I read that because it was actually, um, uh, if in King James, it was removed. Yeah, it was not, it's not in King James, but it is in the original text. Um, the Azir Connecto is a battle term and it's used as a warrior. It's a warrior term about protecting and surrounding yeah. and protecting. And he uses it to describe, guess who? Not Adam, 
he uses it when he, when he pulls woman out of her, him, and he says, she's going to protect you. She's going to be the one who is a Zer Konegdo. She's going to be the one that surrounds you. She protects you. She's going to warrior fight for you. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's, it's beautiful. I don't know why it was left out. I have assumptions, which I won't share, which you can all think about like, back in the time, why they would have maybe not wanted a woman to be described as a war. I love the picture. Some of you have your, your picture of you, like in the battle garment with a big sword. I mean, that's, that. that's what he's describing. Brenda, yeah. do you have anything to yeah. add to that? Is there a connect? It, yeah, it's, it is. So the word is how the word is is used in the Hebrew scriptures is to, is in, when talking about God as your mighty warrior, as your, as your protector, as your helper, it means helper. So when it says help mate, it's talking about that. It's that one that's helping. It's, it's what the Holy Spirit does. It's what, it's what God does in battle. And so it is a, it, like Charlie said, it's a warrior term. And, um, and that's what the whole Proverbs 31 is all about. It's not about somebody who stays home and just takes care of the house. It's about somebody who's, who is capable, that God created capable of doing multiple things mm -hmm. really well. Yes. And, and, and staying in your lane and doing the things that you can do really well. To never, ever, ever to override someone to you know, overshadow someone, but to come up alongside and to help. That's what we get to do. That's how that is our character. And when we operate in that, it's beautiful because it's not competing. Mm -mm. It's actually assisting. Yes. It's blessing. Yes. It's encouraging. And, um, and so it's used with um, Adam and Hava, what what her role is in her in her life walk for the generations to come is to be that helper the one yes. who will stand in yes. opposition it actually is an opposition word it is and it's a standing in opposition now, a lot of women will run with that and they'll go well that's why I tell my husband off every it's time someone I, who can no. go toe to toe with you and they can say they can say the hard things and do the hard that's things right. in love but it's in love. in love it's not it is in is, love you know it's you not guys know for, us it's not for super selfish pro pro men. We're not hundred percent. We're bigger, yeah. better, badder. We just think mm -hmm. we both have our strengths really yeah. good. I just want to reach out. Sherry Miller made a comment. She said, just talked about being, um, in the church of God and, and really basically you this is a lot of people where you go to church and you don't really read the word. You're just just taking in whatever the pastor said. Most of us have grown, were that way. A lot of people were that way. Yeah. I mean, I remember, I think I've shared before. I remember the pastor's daughter coming to me at one church. I was a, a women's pastor at, and she came to me and she said, I don't know how yeah. to read the Bible. And she was like 30 embarrassed. And she was embarrassed because she was in leadership. She's like, I don't know how to read the Bible. And you talk about it and you're so passionate about it. I don't know how. And so we got to talk, go through it together because her whole life, her husband, her father was a very big pastor in the area. And she didn't, she never had done it for herself. She just sat under someone and listened, which is most of us, there's no shame in that. But what we get to do now is we get to learn to yeah. next year. It's going to be even better. Sherry next year. It'll even be better oh, than the next so year. It's going to even be better. Yeah. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. You, you're, I mean, Brenda say it, you are better at this. You are exactly where you're supposed you're, to be you're exactly where you need to be. You are not behind. Not you, behind. Are, you are not behind. You're not too young. You're not too old. You're not too rich. You're not too poor. You're not too smart. You're not too non-smart. It's has not, you are exactly where you need to be right now. Yes, and right yes. where you are is the place that God has placed you and your influence is very important. Your, your, the rash, that head, that's the, your influence. And, and you are exactly where you need to be in the, with the people around you, surrounding you exactly where you need to be. You don't have to know everything. Please don't think that you should know everything. We don't know everything. We we, hope, please, we, we're not even, please don't even. I, we say crazy things. You better we, check we us don't. out. Oh yeah, you better always check us out. So, um, but the, this, is the, this is the really great thing is that you get to just relax and enjoy the spot that you're at right now. You're not going to be here tomorrow. You're on the fast track and you're not going to be here in this place. So when you're here in this place, like Charlie's always telling in her coaching sessions, you are such a good coach, by the way, Charlie. Um, in her coaching sessions, she teaches people 
to be present right where they are and not let these moments flutter away. Don't wish these moments away by wanting to be somewhere else so badly. Be in the moment, be in the present right now. Yes. As you are walking this out, be yes. in this moment and yes. enjoy the fact that, hey, there's so much I don't know. Woohoo. Yay. We're all, that's exactly. And the more we know, the more we know, we don't know. The, exactly. That's my favorite when, I mean, I'm listening, I'm, I'm trying to look at the chats and I can't help it, but I mean, Erica is blowing it up. Rock star. She's like, let the Holy one teach you. Yes. Sherry comes back and said, she's afraid that she's misinterpreting God's word. You know what? The anointing will teach you. The Holy one will teach you and, and, and reach Absolutely. out and ask questions. Yeah. Ask someone and then check right. out what they said and say, how, ask, how did you, how do you know that? How, Right. How do you know? That? How do you know that 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 letter is Dalit? How do you know that you it know means that? store? How do you know? Then go look it up. Yeah. And we have free. If you go into our little cafe, the rooted cafe, K A F E.com. If you look under those courses, there's a, a section that says courses. There's a free one, the blue letter Bible. And Brenda and I take you through how to look up letter, how to look something up. The, and it's a free course. If you're already a member, it's already in your library and it's a, how to use the blue letter Bible. I think it says for not so dummies. So yeah, blue, blue letter, letter Bible for not so dummies. And it's a very, 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 very yes. basic. Yes. How to do it. Jerry, so we're encouraged. Be encouraged. Yeah. Be encouraged. Be, be so encouraged. encouraged. We're You're so excited great. for you. This is so awesome for all of you that are that are new or newer, or you know, some of you have been doing this for 30 years, you could spin circles around us. Some of yes. you are brand would you, new. Would you reach out to Sherry? Would some of you Please. reach out to her? Would some of you who've been doing this yes. for a long time or a little, maybe you're a day before, ahead of her. Um, maybe you're one, one year ahead of her or one month. Or, or, reach out or to her. One day. Would you, would you <laughs> Sherry Miller, would yes. you guys reach out to her um, yes. privately on here or on Facebook? You guys connect, mm -hmm. make friends. We really yeah. want to encourage you to be connecting with one another and yes. reach out with each other and, yeah. and do that. So, you know, you were talking about the Proverbs 31 woman and, and we're yes. going to wrap this up, but, um, I, I had someone, reach out to me. <laughs> this happens all the time. I, I mean, not a, a lot. So I'll have Love women it. reach out and say, Oh, I'm a really good speaker. And I do this. Can I speak at your next conference? And can I have, I do this and this and this and this and this, the first thing I look for is when someone tells me, uh, you know what? This is what I've been doing. I'll ask them, tell me about your, how you came to Torah. Tell me about your, tell me, let me know your, I want to hear about you. And what I'm looking for is for someone to tell me the more I have learned, the more I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. Then I know you can be on my team. You can be on my team. When you tell me, gosh, the more I'm learning, the more I realize I don't know anything. I mean, I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a preschooler most days by the women that we hang around with. I'm like, seriously, me too. I'm like, can I just hold your, can I just like yeah. hold your pen? I'll go sharpen your pencil. What do you need me to do? Maybe it'll uh, transfer. Maybe if I just hold their, right. if I just, maybe I could just... <laughs> so that's the one thing. So I had this lady reach out to me and she's, you know, did the whole thing. And she's like, I'd love to speak. I loved your conference. I saw, found you, blah, blah, blah. I, someone invited me to the conference. So I came and she sent me, yeah, I want to introduce myself. And I was, you know, like, okay. And in that she said, how much she didn't know and how the more she learned, the more she didn't know. And I'm like, okay, now you have my attention. <laughs> and then we're chat back and forth. And she said, do you mind if I just send you, I wrote a book. Can I just send it to you? And I'm like, if you saw my book pile, you, yeah, sure. I can't promise how quickly <laughs> no I can get to this. So she sent me the book and I downloaded, she says, I'm going to eat, I'm going to mail you the book and I, the hard copy. She ended up sending me a PDF because I said, I downloaded the sample on Kindle just to read the quick sample. And then I'd know, no, don't, don't waste postage. I'm, I got too much to read or something. Mm -hmm. It was, it is the Proverbs 31 woman. And she takes you through the whole acrostic. Is that right? Acrostic, uh -huh. Brenda? Acrostic. The acrostic of the alphabet through the Proverbs 31. And Love Brenda it. teaches this as well, like off the hook. She teaches this different than Brenda has like <clears throat> passionate energy in the letters. So you can get it from every direction, mm -hmm. you know, you know, yeah. her name is Lauren Cruz. Is awesome. <laughs> no. So you can see when we put in the, the, I mean, the portion we'll see, it says book club that we'll yeah. be starting out this month that we're going to oh, all be reading it together. That. I can't um, wait, Charlie. I'm so excited to read it. I, I cannot sister. wait to hear her perspective. She started I'm off, like She starts off with, I was reading it and they're short. We'll do like three chapters a week because they're short. But when you, oh, I know it and I know the olive wow. bit better. And I'm like oh, seeing myself as so I, good. I, 
I get to be an olive. The olive is the, the ox. I get to yoke myself with the Holy one. Hallelujah. My husband needs me to rise up and be the woman who is strong in the Lord, who's yes. strong with him, yes. who's yes. connected to him. I'm like, this yes. is empowering me. Like, I'm like, Hallelujah. I can't believe this lady reached out to me. Like, really? How did she get my name? And so she's like, I want to That's serve so you. What you guys beautiful. are doing. I'm, she said, I, I it is it is powerful. It is brave. Mm -hmm. You guys are, mm -hmm. I love it. I want to be part of it. She sent me this. And then she says, Hey, um, if you want, I said, well, I love this book so much. Do you mind if I'm just going to do a book club on it? And she's like, absolutely. And if you want, I'll show up and I'll help teach. Oh my the God. I'll, I'll show what? up for the book. I'm what? like, so the author of the book is now going to show up and help <laughs> with the book club. And then she's like, Oh, and she tells stories. So there's women who are married women who are single, women who are divorced, women who are widowed talking about how they get to Alleluia. be. Cause like, who is like the rich lady with a bunch of servants? That's what you're thinking, but that's not what that's about. It's about how, what a strong godly woman we get to be and who we're called to be for him. And if we're, if we have a mate. Okay. So she says, you know what? I'm going to get in touch with those women too. And I'll get a bunch of them to come in and pop in um, on these, um, wow. on, on these calls and they can share their personally share their stories about how that I shared in the book. So not only are you guys going to get, and there's no charge. This is just a, you get the, you have to get the book. Um, there's it's in the portion, go find it. Um, you can get, you get the book. It's that thing. Um, and <laughs> yeah, and we're going to meet every week on a Sunday evening. We'll be, we'll meet Sunday evenings and we'll do, she's going to show up. And I don't know if every time but we're just going to chat, she's going to chat with us. And the ladies are going to show up. How cool is that? You guys That's so beautiful. And we're going to learn Proverbs so 31 much. from a point of view of the Aleph bet. So you hear us talking about it, how important it is so that when you see letters, they excite you. So when you go yes. to blue letter Bible, one sentence, just look up one verse and you're like, Oh, I see three letters. I recognize. I'm so excited. Know you know, that's yeah. how I feel. Yes. It'll be a yeah. zoom call. Yeah. It's going to be a zoom call. We won't. Uh, awesome. We might broadcast it live to Facebook. Why not? Why not? Why not? Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, real quick. Kim Allen has a question in here. Yes. Um, and I wanted to just make sure that she was uh, heard. Do you have a mentoring program for stepping into new endeavors? I'm starting my first book and I'm clueless to formats. Uh. So Kim, we will ladies reach out to Kim. You ladies who are Titus women. Yeah. Yeah, and Kim, get a hold of me because if you need yeah. help, like walking through that, that's my jam. So you yeah. reach out to me if you need help, just yeah. stepping through yeah. that process. Yeah, you can you can message Charlie, um, yeah. uh, email her or message her. Yeah, and ladies, Kim, Kim is new, and let's bless her. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's help her out. Let's help everybody out who wants to. I want to, I want to end partner. with this. I want to end. Are we with, ending? Is it time already? Time. Really? I want to end with, I can't remember the verse. I mean, I know I wrote it down. I want to end with, um, because I think this is important because I think this is right to you. Oh, where's my notes. There's so many. Um, when, and I think it's in one ten. in, in one ten when, he, when, what happens is he starts telling them about the he starts telling them about God has the multiplied stars, you. That uh -huh. He's multiplied Ten. you. Mm -hmm. That you're yep. gonna look at the star, you know, you're gonna be yep. like the stars. He reminds them yep. of that. If you go to Isaiah 40, verse 26, oh, basically the whole chapter of Isaiah. Yeah. I mean, this isn't the half Tara, but I'm gonna just take you there anyway. Why not? Um I love that in this, in this thing, the people are forgotten who they were because they, under this bondage of Babylon, Babylon and Assyria, they were under their rule. They were struggling. They'd forgotten who they were. You have forgotten who you were. You've been struggling. You've been struggling between maybe your church, um, whether, and, and, and we are, there's a lot of us, a lot of people here who still go to a Sunday church or still, they go, you know, you're trying to go back and forth between things and maybe, or maybe you don't go anywhere in any fellowship and this is it. This is all you have, but you've struggled under maybe the bondage of a job of, of rule, some rule, something's ruled over you. Maybe it's, um, family members, something's ruling over you. That's giving you, you're forgetting who you are. You're forgetting who you are. And as you're going to go through, we're going to remind you every week now going through uh, Devarim, Deuteronomy, we're going to remind you again, who you are, whose you are. 
But I love this because this is Isaiah. He has to remind the people who they are because because of this scripture again, it's Isaiah 40, 26 is when he's, they start talking and, and they're griping and saying that, you know, that their ways are hidden from the Lord and the justice, the justice do me escapes the notice of the Lord. So maybe you're feeling like you're not being noticed. You're crying mm. out and he's not hearing you. Um, I want to just, I just want to read this to you. And I want, I, I just felt like I was supposed to end with this and read it. I'm going to see if I do it right. Um, 40. 26, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they say, lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. The one who brings out the host by number, the one who calls them all by name because of his great strength and his vast power, not one is missing. Why do you say, oh, Jacob and assert, oh, Israel, my way is hidden from Adonai and the justice do me escapes the notice of my guy, God. Have you not known and have you not heard? Adonai is the eternal God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow tired or weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives strength to the weary. And to one without vigor, he adds might. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But the one who waits for Adonai will renew their strength. We've talked about that. You guys know that verse. It's on every like eagle plaque. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to know he's wanting you to bind yourself with him. Yes. He's saying, look at the stars, sister. I'm the one who put those up there for you. Yeah. I want to multiply you, your gifts, every your sphere of influence. I want to get, I want to do everything for you. I'm the one who did that. So maybe tonight, if it's a clear night for you to go outside and look up at the stars, he knows you get weary. He knows you're tired. He knows you got beat up at that church. He knows those women were mean to you. He knows that maybe that husband was mean to you or the sister or whatever you're, he knows, he knows his arm isn't too short. His ear, he still hears. He has not forgotten and start thanking him for how big he is and how who he is. And then what that does is it brings you to remembrance, not that he's forgotten you, but it brings you back to the forefront. And he's like, oh, there's my daughter. There she is. Yeah. That's her. That other lady who's like being crazy, pitiful lady. That wasn't her, but we were working with it. There she is. Mm -hmm. And I want you just to start thanking him and look and know who you are. Amen. Because I'm not any better than you. Brenda's not any better than you. There's nobody else here that's, he wants to show you mystical, fun, secret things. Yes. He does want to show you that. Yeah. Yes, he does. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love Ooh, that verse. Deuteronomy so speaks life, life, here life, we go. life. How exciting. And this is just the beginning. Yes. Yeah, so are you guys ready for the train? Yeah. Get your tickets, get ready to ride. <laughs> we would love to hear from you. We love hearing from you. I don't care. I'm going to pick on you now, Sherry, because you spoke up. Sh mm -hmm. I mean, I want Sherry. I want you this next week. I want you to post something in the portion and be like, okay, I was reading this next portion. Everything looks crazy. I don't understand anything, but I read this one thing that says, I have called you by name and you are mine. And that lifted up off the page and it made my heart sing, whatever. I want to hear really great things from you. I want everyone to say, you know what? This little two words jumped off the page. Yeah. Some of you are going to say, you know what? I went and watched how to do the blue letter Bible, or I've already known how to do this for years. And I went in there and I looked up one verse mm -hmm. and I looked up what the Hebrew meant. And this is what I got from it. You know, that yeah. makes my heart sing. You guys want to yeah. do something? That's what I, that's how you can support me. That's one. Pray for me that I'm not crazy in lows and <laughs> write, write how you found great things because mm. sister, he loves you. He wants to show yeah. you great things. And I, yes. we need to know, cause he's going to tell you things. He doesn't tell us. He's going to tell you in a way that he hasn't told us. So we need yes. to hear it from you. We need yes. to hear your words, how he speaks through you because you're valuable. You're a part yes. of this. You're part yes. of the sand of the sea. You're part of the sta stars. Ooh, sisters. It's all are. good. Father, bless them. Keep them. Oh, just shine on them. Let them, yes. let, the, let them all have a clear night tonight. That they see your stars. Yes. Oh, father, be Thank gracious so to much. them mm -hmm. and pour out your shalom in their home.
Amen. Amen. See you guys next week. Hey, everybody who wants to stay for the after party, yes, even though it's on yes. the West Coast, though so you're probably like so tired, we, we're still up. So we're going to hang out in the after party. <laughs> um, if you are in Zoom, it's not too late. You can still hop over with us over on the after party, but we will be stopping the recording. Love you all. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Love you guys. <laughs>